Hi everyone. So this week's door portion of the Achrimot Kedoshim, Achrimot, uh, one of the most beautiful Orachimes. Uh, 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 you know, when we're told, uh, um, you know, it, it starts by talking about the two sons of Aaron, and, and, and the Torah tells us, um, you know, Bekirvatam lifnei Hashem ve'yamutu. You know that they, 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 they were close to me and they died. And the Orachaim says two very interesting things. Is the first thing he says, right, why is it say Bikirvatam? Why the superfluous need to say this closeness? Just say that they died before God. But Bikirvatam, he says, amongst other things, two beautiful things. The first thing, it's a warning to Moses, don't think that you're above all, that, that you know, you can do whatever. There are rules, there are guidelines, there are boundaries between the divine and the, hu- and the human, and this applies to you as well. And this leads to the next thing, and that is that potentially it was Nadav and Avihu that were even closer to God than Moses, because if he was the closest, he would have taken Moses. You know, so the idea is that the shepherd of the Israelites that's, that stays to watch over us is the human person that has to watch over the Israelites, but the sort of Enoch-type characters, Nadav and Avihu, was so, were, were so pure that they, they were the closest to God. So this is just a, a great orachaim and, you know, to, to perhaps debunk this idea that this automatic notion that Nadav and Aviv sinned, I think it's here in Acharimot where orachaim really, you know, shines and lets us uh, view this different perspective. So thoughts on Acharimot from beautiful Jerusalem. Shabbat Shalom.